Hi, uh, welcome to the fourth part of uh, this video series. Uh, in this series, we are uh, creating a game, uh, a balloon shooting game. And in the last video, we saw how to uh, keep track of score. And in this video, we are going to add a message uh, when, when, when the game is over. We are going to display a message when the game is over. And uh, uh, also uh, provide option to play the game again. We will also add uh, option to start the game by clicking on a button. Okay. So I'm going to create two uh, symbols, one for the message that uh, is displayed when the game is started and the second one is uh, the message uh, that is displayed when the game is over. So let's create a uh, new symbol. This is going to be a movie clip. I will start with um, start game symbol. Okay. And uh, I'll start with uh, a background okay, for the message. Uh, this is not really going to be a message, it's just going to be uh, one button here um, called start. And then I will add uh, a rectangle for button and I will set blue background for that or button or button shape and next layer for the text and I'm going to make this white Okay, that will do. And okay, so I'm going to convert this uh, back with button shape and, uh, and and text to a symbol. So I'll select both these frames, right click, and say convert to symbol, and I'll call this start button symbol, and this is going to be button. Okay, and I'm also going to name the instance. So let's say start button btn. Okay, so I guess button shape doesn't have anything now. Um, let me just verify. Yeah, so I'm going to delete this and make all of them visible. Now, this should be displayed um, when the game starts. So I'm going to create a layer. Let's say start game on the main timeline. I'll move the script above. Okay. And uh, I'm going to drag and drop start game symbol here. Okay. And I'm going to name the instance. So go to properties, movie clip, and I will call this just start game. Yeah, just starting. Okay. Let's create a similar thing for end game. So I will go back to insert new symbol. I'll call this game over. And this is going to be movie clip. I'm going to just copy the the background and button from start green symbol. Okay. So select both, then copy, and I'm going to go to game over symbol and edit paste in place. Okay. 
Now instead of uh, start, now this is not going to be a start button, I will also copy, make another copy of start button symbol. So I'll say duplicate and I will say and this is going to be play again button. Okay. All right. It was it's misspelled. Play again. Okay. Let's rename start to play again. Okay. All right. Now we are going to use this uh, button in the game over symbol. So go back to game over symbol. I'm going to remove start button and I'm going to drag and drop play again button. And I'm going to move it somewhere down here. And I'm going to name the instance play again button. And uh, here I will display message that game is over. Okay. So I'll select text tool and game over. Just increase the font a bit. Okay. All right. So that's our game over display. And I'm going to create a new layer for game over. We just hide all the layers and only make game over visible. And I'm going to drag and drop game over symbol onto that layer. Okay. Let me move it all the way down. Okay. So just uh, verifying if we have named the symbol. Okay, start button is name. Fine. All right, so uh, let's go back to the script. And uh, the first thing we are going to do is um, uh, display the start button. Okay, and we will start the game only after clicking the start button. So we need to register an event listener uh, for the start button. Okay. Now uh, we, we are registering all the event listener in this function. So let's do the same thing. So export rule, that is a main timeline. Within that, we want to access start game movie clip or instance of that. And start button is part of this symbol. So it's start button and on click. And the event handler is just the start game function. So we'll remove start game from init app. Okay. We will also do we'll register listener for play again button. It's going to be export root dot end game dot play again button and on click of that we want to call the same function start game okay when the game starts uh, we want to hide uh, start game and end game both the symbols uh, okay 
So we'll go back to start game method and here we'll hide export root dot start game dot visible and export root dot end game dot visible both of all of them are in fact set to false okay when a game is over uh, in uh, on game over function we want to display end game symbol so we'll do that here and it should be visible should be true okay so just review on what we did we removed start uh, game function from init app and now we will start the game uh, after user clicks uh, start game button and uh, the end uh, and and we are also uh, going to start the game restart rather restart the game when user clicks play again button when end game symbol is displayed at the end of the game so let's see if this works okay so we have a problem here the so game is started even before or rather the bullets can be fired even before the game starts so let's put that check here yeah so in key down if and uh, we will initialize this to true actually so that uh, because we are starting the game only once user clicks on start game and if game is over we just return from key down event handler okay and uh, initially in this uh, init app function uh, we want to hide the end game visible uh, symbol so we'll do that here okay let's see so on pressing the space bar nothing happens click on start Okay, this is, I think we have misspelled something. Okay, the end game symbol, probably we haven't given the instance name. Yeah, that's the problem. So here, the game over uh, symbol doesn't have instance name. So we'll name this end game. Let's make all the layers visible again. Go back to the script and now let's test this. Okay, all right. Okay, now the game is over, and if I click on play again, then the game starts again. Great. So that's the end of the game. Uh, we could do a couple of modifications on top of this. Uh, for example, showing the flash when um, when the bullet is fired, even though it is a toy game, and we could probably add that effect and provide some effects when balloon bursts. You know? So we will see that in the next video. Thank you.